Okay, so we looked at um, histograms, which are very useful for qualitative, um, quantitative data, especially in large quantities. But if you have a small sample size, then stem and leaf plots are very, very handy. So let's talk about a stem and leaf plot. So when we say stem and leaf, the stem is the first digit of the number, and the leaf is the next digit, or the last digit. So the way this would read, so the stem are the tens, so these are 90s, 80s, 70s, 60s, 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s, and tens. The leaves are the second digit. So this is meaning that we have two values, one is 90 and the other one is 96, so a 90 and a 96. In the 80s, I would have an 83, an 85, and an 87. In the 70s, I'd have a 71, a 76, a 76, a 77, and a 78. There are no values in the 20s, and this would be the number 16. These are very, very fast to put together. So we're going to do two of these. So we've got um, times for a certain task listed below. So this time our stem is going to be the seconds and our leaf is going to be um, the decimals for that. So the stem is going to be in seconds. So we're going to have stem and leaf. So what's the smallest stem we have? Looks like five seconds. Six, seven, eight, and then I think nine is the biggest. So for the fives, I have 5.8 and 5.9, so 8 and 9. For the sixes, I've got 1, 2, and 8, so 1, 2, and 8. For the sevens, let's see, I've got a three, a four, a six, and a seven. And I'm writing them in order, but the beauty about a stem leaf is you really don't have to. Um, one, one, and I'll show that, eight, two. Because it's all about how many things are in that class and then a 9-2. So according to this, how many uh, subjects completed the task in the five second range? We only have two leaves in there, so that's two. How many subjects took longer than seven seconds? Well, that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How would you describe this? I would say this is almost symmetrical, but something I do note here is, you remember we were talking about the mode, like the one that occurs the most? This one has two modes. Two modes. This makes it bimodal. When it has one mode, that is called unimodal just tidbits of information as we go along. Um, here are um, those quiz grades that we had done before, but this time we're going to do them in a stem leaf plot. Whoops, stem leaf. So because I said you really don't have to worry about being perfectly exact, um, 
I know we started with the tins. Oh man, I might as well do this in the, the marker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm just going to go in order. So 60, be six and a zero. 50, five, zero. 51, 27. 21, 17, 32, 54, 38, 31, 29, 61, 64, 52, 96, you see how this works? 33, 47, 51, 88, 66, 82, 66, 27, 17, 79, 40, 90, 66, 39, 43, 56. So you can see that we get um, the shape. If you turn it on its side, it's almost like having a histogram. It's a little bit right skewed. It's unimodal. The 40s were the most frequent. 